Tattoos have been trendy for years, but lately it seems removing tattoos is even more popular. Cosmetic surgeon Dr. Cameron Rockshar is here to tell us about the new techniques for tattoo removal and the truth about whether all this inking and de-inking is really good for our health. Dr. Rockshar, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so before we get to the removal of tattoos, tell me a little bit about how tattoos can affect our health and our skin. Tattoos really, you know, it, it, the process of tattoo, putting a tattoo in the skin involves placing a pigment in the skin. So in of itself, placement of a pigment in the skin doesn't necessarily have any risks, but the placement of what you use actually to place it with, which is a needle, can potentially have some complications, including risk of infection. Mm -hmm. There has been cases of hepatitis and HIV transmission reported through uh, placement of tattoos in, in, in unsanitary ways. There's also a risk of developing allerg allergic reactions to mm -hmm. some dyes that are used in tattoos. So the public should be aware of that, that placing a tattoo is not completely risk-free. And I also found it interesting that later in life you can run into complications if you have to have an MRI. Yeah, it, that probably has to do with the fact that if you develop an allergic reaction and you do have soft tissue swelling, potentially that soft tissue swelling can mask certain things in an MRI. That's that is not that common though. Okay, but it's out there. So it just, is out there. Just another thing to tell your children when they're considering getting a tattoo. So tell me, there's this new technique to remove tattoos. How does it work? Well, the prior to the advent of lasers, when somebody wanted to remove a tattoo, you had a couple of options. One was surgical excision, or one was to manually abrade it through dermabrasion. With the advent of lasers, we're actually able to pinpoint uh, in a very direct way to remove a tattoo. Uh, the newest laser, which is the Alex Trivantage, mm -hmm. uses a series of three wavelengths, which has many advantages. The process involves um, breaking down the pigment particles in the tattoo through the energy of the laser so that the body scavenging cells can come by and they can actually pick up those pigment particles and take it elsewhere. Okay, so any side effects when you're using a laser? Uh, you know, with any laser treatment, there is rare side effects which include risk of uh, scarring uh, and infection. The areas where you do laser do scab up for a few days at a time and you do have to keep bandages on those areas. Uh, each time. And how long does this take? Can you go in once and walk out tattoo free? Yeah. You know, it's mu actually much easier to get a tattoo than to remove a <laughs> tattoo. So the process can take a few, st on average, uh, it, it may take six to eight sessions, and the range may include anything from three to 12 sessions. And so it is a gradual process uh, with time when you slowly remove a tattoo. Every time you do the laser treatment, the tattoo becomes lighter and lighter. Mm -hmm. And how expensive are these treatments? Is it ever covered by insurance? It's not covered by insurance. It is the insurance companies do cons consider it to be a cosmetic procedure. And the cost is a few hundred dollars, depending on the size of the tattoo uh, and also the number of colors involved and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So what makes this method safer than previous removal techniques? Basically, what you're doing is that you know, uh, we, uh, you're using a specific wavelength of light to have a certain tissue interaction between the light and the skin. And so that uh, wavelength of, of light is, is absorbed selectively, uh, and so it breaks down the pigment particles. So it is really a way to remove a tattoo which is almost painless, mm -hmm. um, and also uh, it doesn't really leave uh, marks that you know that you can have with surgical excision or dermabrasion. So um, you can have almost clearing of a tattoo with these new laser technologies. Now, does it matter where the tattoo is on your body, in terms of having it removed? Um, you can remove really tattoos on any body part. I mean, the important thing is that, for example, areas that um, have poor healing may take longer. Uh, and that is, for example, ankles. You know, ankles is a very common area, mm -hmm. especially for women, where they get tattoos and they have them removed, especially when women join the professional workforce. A lot of people want to remove them. So that area, you have to use gentler energy settings, and it may take longer to remove a tattoo in, in, in on the ankles, for example. Okay, well, in the 90s, we talked about this before you sat down, that it was a bit more trendy to get a tattoo. And I was in a sorority. A lot of my sorority sisters, they got them on their ankles. Right. So that's just kind of a harder place than to get it off, right? It is a harder place. You know, in general, it's funny. In, 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 in my practice, I see that there's two groups of patients who want to remove tattoos. One group is the, is the person that went and just got a tattoo on a whim, and the next day they regret it, and they're in the office, want to remove it. And like I said, the other segment of the population is really people who um, 
think that they f it's having a tattoo is not appropriate for a professional work environment. And right. you know, there's many celebrities that have recently actually removed tattoos. All for right. that, I think for that specific reason. And then there are a lot of celebrities that still have a ton. I mean, I can't imagine the makeup artist trying to cover up all of Angelina Jolie's tattoos when she's doing a movie. Now, tell me, in terms of these laser removals, should this be viewed as a fix-all? Oh, I can, I can have it removed, so I'm going to go out and get a tattoo now? Yeah, I think it's probably not a good idea to think of it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, I I removing a, a tattoo is much more arduous than uh, placing a tattoo. It does take a number of sessions, and it is kind of a work in time. So I think that you should be um, really sure about if, you want, if you're going to get a tattoo. The other thing also to consider is that uh, even though with the advent of this new laser, the Alex Tri Vantage, it, we can get uh, multiple colors removed. There are certain colors that are still very tricky to remove. Really? And Which so the ones? public should know about that. And uh, for example, white tattoos are next to impossible to remove. Also, the color yellow is, is uh, somewhat difficult to remove as well. All right. So I would have thought like the brighter color is red and blue. But not so? No, actually blue, green, and black are the easiest colors to remove. And red is actually much easier now. We have a certain wavelength that we can actually hit um, red with it also. Interesting. Dr. Rockstar, thanks so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And don't forget, you can follow ABC News Now on Facebook and Twitter. Just search ABC News Now.